is a great pleasure to welcome uh, President Widodo to the Oval Office, uh, along with his delegation. Uh, and uh, it is a useful uh, occasion for us to uh, emphasize the, the strength of the bilateral relationship uh, between uh, two of the world's largest democracies. Obviously, I have uh, a very personal interest in Indonesia, uh, given uh, the fact that I spent uh, time there as a child and uh, have relatives uh, uh, who are Indonesian. Uh, but uh, what is also true is that our partnership is very much in the interests of the United States, uh, given uh, Indonesia's large population, uh, its leadership in uh, the region, uh, its democratic traditions, the fact that it is a uh, large Muslim country with a tradition of tolerance and moderation, uh, and uh, its role in trade and commerce uh, and economic development. The United States uh, has a great interest in being a partner with Indonesia, and I think our meeting today uh, helped to emphasize uh, the nature of what we believe is a key strategic partnership. Uh, during the course of this meeting, I complimented uh, uh, the President on uh, a number of the reforms that he's initiated, uh, and we discussed how we could uh, continue to strengthen uh, the trade investment and commercial relationships uh, between our two countries, including uh, the President's interest in uh, expanding uh, the digital economy in Indonesia in a way that would uh, alleviate poverty and uh, empower uh, millions of people uh, in that country. Uh, we had an opportunity to discuss our uh, security cooperation, uh, including in the maritime area, uh, helping uh, Indonesia modernize uh, its naval capabilities, uh, and uh, we discussed the importance of uh, working through channels like ASEAN and the East Asia uh, Forum to encourage uh, a continuing uh, strengthening of rules uh, and uh, an international order uh, governing uh, the behavior of nations uh, in the maritime area. We talked about uh, our uh, cooperation in the counterterrorism area. Uh, Indonesia has been a very important partner, uh, and we are continuing to work together not just on the security elements of counterterrorism, but also uh, countering uh, the message uh, that comes from organizations like ISIL. Uh, and Indonesia, I think, is uniquely positioned to be able to uh, help spread uh, a message of uh, peace and cooperation uh, and modernity uh, within uh, the Muslim world. Uh, and we discussed uh, a range of global issues because Indonesia, as a member of the G20, uh, is not only a regional leader but also a global leader. Uh, so we discussed uh, the joint work we're doing uh, on uh, issues like uh, health, uh, global health security uh, and uh, making sure that we have public health systems in place to prevent future pandemic. Uh, Indonesia has been a lead leader on uh, the open government forum. Uh, and transparency and uh, rooting out corruption. Uh, and uh, one of the main topics we discussed was the issue of climate change uh, and why it's so important that large countries like ours uh, work together to uh, arrive at the strongest possible uh, set of targets and international agreements uh, when we arrive in Paris uh, just a little over a month from now. Uh, so whether it's helping uh, Indonesia uh, deal with uh, the current uh, difficulties surrounding peat fires, or it is encouraging uh, ongoing student exchanges between our two countries. Uh, this meeting, I think, signifies our taking this partnership to the next level. Uh, I think that, uh, Mr. President, uh, you are moving uh, Indonesia in the right direction. Uh, we want to be a partner with you. Uh, and uh, please know that uh, the friendship that the United States feels towards Indonesia uh, is not just uh, uh, an issue of strategic interest, but also uh, represents the strong people-to-people -people ties uh, between uh, uh, Americans and Indonesians. And uh, we want to welcome you and uh, wish you well and uh, look forward to our continued partnership.